Uh, Betsy, is this forecast worthy of gold? What are you saying? What are you thinking? Meh. Yeah, it's right. I figured. <laughs> I we're think we're kind of yet. like middle of the pack forecast here. Not uh, stupendous, but we're not going to lose out. Ten. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> we're not going to be on the metal stand with this one, unfortunately. Okay. Here's a look at the way things are going to go tonight. We're going to fade back toward the freezing mark by the midnight hour. We will get a few breaks in the overcast. So there's that, but it's nighttime, so most people won't even see it. Uh, but at least right now on snow mode of the Doppler radar, we just have a few isolated snow showers ongoing. These are moving from west to east. And other than that, you may have a few little random flurries here and there or grapple. I mean, we've, we've just not really had a whole lot to bank on on the radar today. But those scattered snow showers that we do have have been moving rather quickly, and that will continue to move out. So you may get into that snow shower there in central portions of Ashtabula County before it moves out. But where that one is leaving, the next one is just on the horizon. And it definitely looks a lot bigger, doesn't it? It looks much more sizable. This is a more potent storm system that will be coming in. It, too, is a clipper system. So clipper systems, fast-moving, smaller-scale storm systems. Now, the last one last week, that one was a delta low, panhandle hook. I mean, it was just a beast. This, in comparison, much less. So uh, I, I should fire up the scale again, but I won't. Uh, but we do have some scattered snow showers that we are anticipating to come into the area. Uh, maybe late tonight, and I think more likely tomorrow, it will enter into our picture as rain and then kick it back over to snow. More importantly, these clipper systems, even though they aren't responsible for massive amounts of snow or rain for us, they do have a stirring effect in the atmosphere. And when they stir, they usually make that uh, cold air that's sitting in central Canada dislodge and start to swing south. You can see that happening up here. So we'll have kind of the second shot that comes in. It's a reinforcing shot, and that's going to sink things for us once we get into the day on Sunday. Your National Design Mart Hour by Hour forecast will keep those random flurry or slight snow shower chances around this evening. By tomorrow morning, though, you can see the cool temperatures will be back with us in the 20s. We will warm up right after daybreak, and I think we'll get just above freezing. That's great news because is we have that rain that's going to be coming in. So on the front end of that, you could end up having a little bit of a rain mix, but I think the predominant precipitation type for your day tomorrow will be rain. One thing you don't see here is the wind. It's going to be breezy tomorrow, even through the afternoon and into the evening. By evening, then, that rain should start to move out. That's when that colder air will be moving in, and that's that reinforcing shot that gets here by the time we hit Saturday. We'll pick up chances for some lake effect snow showers here and there through Saturday afternoon, but you can see temperatures early Saturday were warmer than where they will land later in the day. By Saturday and then into Sunday, I think we'll have better chances to get some peaks of sunshine in here. How much snow is coming? Don't get too excited. The flurries that we have on the back end of the rain tomorrow won't add up to much of anything, and then by the time we add Saturday into that, we could put a ground coating or a coating around the ground. So not a lot uh, even to shovel. Here's your Union Home Mortgage forecast. Notice this temperature trend. We're dropping. We're going to be in the teens and 20s on Sunday with a few random flurries around. By Valentine's Day, we are clearing out. So peaks of sun, definitely welcome. By Tuesday, I think mid-30s, lots of sunshine. And our next chance for any type of sizable precipitation wouldn't arrive until late next week. And Russ and Laura, that would be rain, not snow, and temperatures in the 50s. Wow, okay. I was going to say the judges agree with eh. But the 50s, we'll take that. Yeah. Now, just to make it happen. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Betsy.